Okay, so I'm going to be doing this little uh, demonstration of makeup I've done on myself a couple of times. I always recommend practicing your makeup before you do it. At least, you know, even if it's earlier the day of. Put it on, take it off, then do it again later. You'll know what you're in for. I actually like to do it a week before. Try it one or two times and then do it for your Halloween adventures, all right? So it's always good to practice something because if you jump in to do something, you give yourself a half hour to do it and it takes an hour and you don't know that <laughs> until you do the makeup, you're gonna be a half hour late for everything. So it is best to always decide what you wanna do. Practice it at least one time first so that when you go to do it, it makes it a lot easier. Also, I'm using all water-based makeup on myself today. I'm using aqua colors. Mostly because it's all I have, I actually borrowed an aqua color palette from a makeup artist friend of mine, and I had a large black uh, tub of aqua color that I could use. Also, it's very easy and forgiving to work with. You can wipe it off with a wet paper towel or tissue and fix something. Also, at the end of the night, after I've been out, you know, celebrating and the festivities, I don't want to spend a long time getting out of makeup. So I can just wash off with soap and water, washcloth, and I'm good to go to bed. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna be doing a half skull makeup that I've done many times. So what you hear me doing is dipping my brush in the water, and then I'm actually mashing it into the uh, white. I'm gonna start with white because it's easier to put black over white than it is to put white over black. So I know that I'm gonna do kind of a half skull. So I'm gonna go on here and I'm gonna do this. I'm working backwards. This is weird. And I'll just do a little flip like that. This is very strange <laughs> to work this way. Now, I'm going to work off my own anatomy, meaning that I'm using my own anatomy to determine the highlights and shadows and the shapes. And because I'm doing a skull, I happen to have a skull right here. So I'm going to work off of it. Now, my eyebrow is actually on my brow skull bone so i can't really use that so i'm gonna to have to work above it a little bit because it's easier to cover with black than it is with white but i'm gonna go right to it now another thing that i'm going to do is i might overpaint some areas with white because i know that i can go over them with black And I'm actually going to try and leave some of those areas that stay black, very black. So I can feel my cheekbone as I actually paint there. And it actually goes straight, right across my brow there. And my temple bone or orbit bone here. I can actually feel it with the paintbrushes I'm working, which is cool. And my jaw bone. Give myself a nice strong jaw. A little more water. So that whole time was just off that one dip in the water with the brush. So you can get a lot. Ooh, just one swipe. Now I've kind of got that half skull blocked out. We call it blocked out because it's a rough blocky form. Now I want to go ahead and fill in some areas, maybe make it a little more stark, a little more well colored. So I'm adding more white to it. It will also even out as it dries. That's one of the nice things about aqua colors or Wolf Brother makeups, they might look a little streaky when they go on at first, but they will even out a little bit when they dry. Right up into that gray hair there. Now, obviously, there are areas that I want more white than others. One will be this brow bone, this orbit right there by the temple because that's going to be a highlight area 
and of course the cheek. That's probably the most prominent area. So I'm going to go in here, I'm not re-dipping. I'm just getting more makeup on the brush, and I'm going to kind of pack it. I think that's working. Then on the teeth, make sure we cover up that bra that uh, beard stubble. And I think I've got a good start of what's going to be happening there. So now I can go in with some lac. And I can just do a line. Now working reverse is going to be a little hard. Oh, I got an itch. Don't want to go in there and scratch me with my nail. I'll use the uh, corner of the brush. It's going to be hard working backwards, but I'm going to give it a try. All right. Dipping back into the black. Oh. It's really hard working backwards. <laughs> oh boy. Go up into the hairline there. Okay. So that's going to be that. I'm going to use a slightly larger brush now. At least I think I am. I think I am. Okay. So that. So I have a slightly larger brush for slightly larger black areas, like the brow. more water. Now I'm going to grab a tissue. I'll be right back. So my eyes watering a little bit, so I'm just going to get that. Because you don't want your eye watering when you've got water-based makeup. So. I'm just going to follow my brow, then I'm going to come down here, sweep over here, and get up right in the corner of the eye. So that's going to be kind of my eye shape. Now I have to close this eye when working. This is really tough because I'm not looking in a mirror. I might have to get into a mirror <laughs> to get really close to the eye so I don't poke myself in the eye with a brush. <laughs> and I'm just going to do a little angry brow there. Why not? Also, for the temple here, I'm going to go ahead and just pull that down. Come straight across. Now, this is obviously not a realistic skull. It's more of a theatrical skull. And I'm going to come here. Down. Across. Boy, this is hard. <laughs> I've never done it in reverse. So for my lip, I don't want to go straight across because it will actually look like it's going down. So I'm going to go up a little bit. So that looks more straight across when you turn and you're at different angles. So then here, on the cheek, I want to come up and over and down. So what that does is that gives me where I know I can divide teeth, and then this is going to be a shaded area behind there. So it gives a little bit of depth. All right. But I do want a hard line about here. A little dip of water there. You have to be careful you don't use so much that it's going to run. You don't want runny water going down your face. It's going to define that cheekbone a little more, and that joint. 
Maybe I'll just darken that a little bit. Darken that a little bit. All right, and then under the jaw a little bit more. Cool, I like that. Now what I'm going to do is blend. And in order to do that, I'm just going to pull this back by going up to the line and pull it back. That's kind of cool, kind of like that. Give myself a little bit of a blend there. Now I also want to blend here a little bit. Go up to the line, pull that back, flip over, put a little more black on there. So this is to help kind of have that look of a going off into darkness. <laughs> off into darkness. All right. Oh, I forgot the nose. Let's do the nose. Another thing that you can do is you'll get some white on your brush. Just uh, dip it in the water and wipe it off with a tissue. Let's get this nose. Can't tell if that's a reflection of white or white. It looks hard to see in this. Okay, so I'm getting some stuff going on. Let's do a little more blending. I want to blend from that uh, line out, but I don't want too much, so I'm going to wipe off that brush. Come over here. It's basically going to create a drop shadow. Just to give a little more separation between the skull and the flesh bit. I don't want to mess up that line for the scowl mark of the eye. But I do want to darken from here. And I want to put a little shadow in here. Yeah, I'm just going to take some residual black here. Create a little shadow here. Now I'm also lightening my touch, so it's a little lighter. I'm also going to blend up a little bit here. It's like a feathered edge, a very light touch. And it's just going to give a little bit of a rounded effect give a little more dimension to the makeup. That seems to be working. I'm also going to just darken this a little bit. I can't tell if that's, oh yeah, that's just light glare. I can even bring that up, like so, round that off. Let's bring it in here a little bit. We won't connect them, just give a hint. So it looks a little curved. So it gives a little more dimension, flow to the skull. I uh, can do some here. Definitely want to do some here. I'm adding a dip there, where there would naturally be from the chin bone. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do a little bit here. Yeah, 
down, and I'm kind of liking that. That's working so far. I want to do a little bit more right here. Maybe I can even take this and just oh, sweep it up. Sweep that down. So this is all just blending. Blending, blending, blending. This gives kind of a rounded look. Well, this is a little darker on this side, so I'm going to bring this in. All right, now let's paint on our teeth. I need a thinner brush. I'm going to use a thin one. Ooh, yeah, thinner. And I'm going to just paint on these teethy pegs. Oh, I wonder if I can do this. Mm, I'll try. Now, I want to put a little shadow in between where the uh, roots would be of the teeth. Okay, that's looking all right. So I want to blend that a little bit. What am I going to blend it with? I think I'm going to use this brush. It's Kind of a, oh, well, it's a little beat up, but uh, you can kind of see that. And I'm not putting any color on it. Blend this line here. Pull it there. Let's see, I need to blend. There we go. All right, looking all right so far. I think we're getting there. All right, what do I want to do next? Uh, oh, I want to do a black line in the lip line. I've got some sealer here. It's going to be backwards because I'm backwards, but it's Pro Seal. I'm just going to take a little of that and I'm going to spray it on the lid of the palette that I was using. You could use a paper dish or a wax paper or paper plate. And I'm just using the sealer. And I'm mixing that in with the uh, black makeup that was already on the brush. And why am I doing that? It makes it a little more water resistant. And then I'm going to sharpen some detail.
Oh, that's, oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. I'll just do some little cracks. That's something I do. <clears throat> you know, one of my makeup things. That's a stylistic thing I like to do. Just adding a little detail. Hopefully everybody's going to be drinking and they're not going to see my detail. <laughs> that's, that's the idea, you know? At least I don't want them to see the detail. <laughs> All right, now I want to put a little more highlight in for some white areas. I'm going to go back to my white brush that I had. Uh, what was this, the same one? No, this is a different one. It's a little smaller. So let's go back to the original one that I had there. I'm going to dip it in the water again. We're going to go back over to our white. And I'm just going to hit some highlights. I'm just patting. Just a little pat. I can go over some areas that were previously blended. That's okay. So I can blend those again. And let's see if I can get this a little better. Cool. And I got a little black on the brush. So I'm just going to wipe that off. Boom. And I want to do some other more detailed areas. So I'm going to use this brush. And a little white. I think I need a little more water there. A little white. I'm just gonna line this eye under here. So just give it a little whoosh. This one here, a little highlight there, a little highlight here. Make it pop. Can't really see what I'm All right, well, that's looking okay. And then I'll do a little highlight here. In between. Definitely there. Okay, a little highlight here. I think it's looking half skull-like, so I think I can get away with this. Um, I'm going to make the teeth a little yellow. And to do that, I'm just going to dip that same brush I was just using in some yellow and in some white. I'm going to make a very pale yellow. I don't want them horribly yellow. Not smoker's teeth. And so I did go over the black a little bit there. That's okay. Because I can't see. <laughs> it's much easier in a mirror, so you guys will be doing this in a mirror, I hope. So I'm going to go back to that sealer. I'm going to spray a little bit in the lid of that palette. Just reactivate that black. So that's giving me a nice hard line too, so I'm going to come over here. Here. That's the rotten tooth. I think I'm going to do a little bit more highlight in between those two. So I had yellow on that brush, so I'm just washing it in the water. I'm going to go straight to just the white. 
That's the white. And I had a little bit in the palette, so I'm taking a tissue and just wiping that yellow off the palette that I had on there. Oh, I like that it's uneven. Screwed that up, not a big deal. Easy to put white over black, or black over white. I just tapping. I'm pretty good with this. I'm just gonna fix that one spot that I just screwed up. <laughs> okay, I think I did that. So that's pretty good. So the next part is the sealer. You have to be careful with the sealer. Um, what do I need? I need something to fan myself with. Hold on one second. So I just got a piece of paper here because this stuff um, has alcohol in it and some of them have menthol in them and they will burn and sting if you don't do that. Oh, you know what? Let's let's just jazz up the other eye. Yeah, let's just do a little bit of that. Why not? We'll give ourselves a nice groomed brow. Mm -hmm. We look like we take care of ourselves a little bit. <laughs> and then I'll get a thinner brush. And we'll do a little eyeliner. I'm just going to mess all that up. It's hard to see. And then we'll take this. Just blend that. Cool. Well, that's not a blend. We're just painting it black. Okay, well, <laughs> that's where we're going. I'm just going to remove some of this with a tissue. And just do a little blend. Just using a little lighter touch. Okay, that kind of works. And then let's go ahead and give ourselves some contour. So I turned the brush around where there was a little more color. Oh, well, maybe there was, maybe there wasn't. I can barely see this stuff. And I'm just pulling, you know, you don't go outside the lines. It's like coloring. Stay inside the line and just pull it back. And same thing here. We'll just bring that forward. And we'll just pull that down to contour the cheek. Contour the cheek. There's a little monster action down the side of the nose. Okay, so boom, there we go, that's the whole thing. So I'm talking about the sealer now. I'm gonna spray the sealer in my face and fan it because it will burn. I've gotta keep my eyes closed and hold my breath. Ready, one, two, well, let's test it first. Sometimes it comes out in the stream. One, two, three. So we're gonna fan this for a little bit. Hit my lip. Okay, the menthol takes longer to dry. This one is really quick drying. I think that's pretty cool. I kind of like it. We can let's let's fix that. Why not? Don't leave it half butted. We'll just give it a little blend. Well, let's just bring that in one. You know, with makeup, I'll work forever. <laughs> you know, so they'd be like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much a half skull makeup. It'll get me through. I can go to a party, enjoy myself. I'm festive, easy enough. Wash it off at the end of the night, and I'm good to go. You could always just do that much of the skull, too. Pretty cool. Or on both sides, or you could do the whole skull face. Any way you like it. I think this took 
uh, 30 minutes, 27 seconds. All right, take care guys, bye. Okay, so after I went and I looked in the mirror, I wanted to punch up the black here, here, and around the eye a little bit. And let's just blend that just a little bit with the finger. Soften that. Okay, yeah, so I just wanted to darken those things, also darken the nose a little bit, and do a little more detail on those cracks. Because I couldn't see that in the video, so I wanted to do it on uh, in the mirror. I went and took a different look and let the hair down and then, ah, go crazy. So half skull face, happy Halloween, haunt or be haunted.